Greetings, Warrior fans. We're joined today by head wrestling coach for the men here at Waldorf, Brad Stockton. The men going to be hitting the mat tomorrow, Thursday, opening meet of the season on what will be an exciting year. Uh, Warriors receiving votes in the NAIA poll, so they're one of the top teams here at Waldorf. Coach, thanks for joining us. Uh, how excited are you guys to get going tomorrow? Um, I'm, I'm excited. I know a lot of returners are excited. They know what to uh, what to expect in a sense. Um, got some freshmen that I think they're a little unsure in a sense, and a lot of that has to do with some weight cutting and, and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I know that that once they uh, you know they make weight and it's I mean they've been doing it their whole life, so it's something that will just come back to them naturally. And, you know, we got a great group of seniors and upperclassmen. Um, so, and they, they've been pitching in and, and helping out and, and go from there, so. You said a group of seniors that are kind of leading the way. Who are some of the top returners? Who do you have high expectations for this year? Uh, Taylor Lehman, of course. Um, he was a qualifier last year at 141. And uh, I know he's, you know, he's anxious to, to get back out there and, and hopefully meet up with a, a few individuals from last season, um, and you know, and, and right or wrong in a sense. Um, and you know, he's been through you know the JUCO scene and NAI scene last year, so um, excited to see him back out there. Um, and, and you know, and his backup um, is Jonathan Hulk, at, you know, still at 141, and uh, you know he's a true sophomore, but his improvement from last year to this year is is huge. Um, and I know it's just killing him, you know, wrestling behind Taylor. But in the same sense, he's he's excited to uh, to keep pushing Taylor every day. And if, you know, if his goal is to to be the starter and qualify in place and, and all that as well. So um, it's that's a good issue to have at, at one weight. Um, you know, and then Dustin Samudio, he's a senior. He uh, he put in a lot of work over the summer mm -hmm. for this last year. Um, so. To see what he he can do and and uh, you know he's he's got plans of his own that he wants you know certain things that he wants to achieve this season. Um, you got Zach Milks who was uh, he redshirted last season um, and he's just grown and matured quite a bit. Um, I expect him to be. I mean he he is a leader, but I expect him to to grow more into that role. Uh, last year you know he took it off and. Um, <laughs> You can you can definitely tell the difference. You know, you got to see the other side of things and and see what uh, what some of the coaches look at and talk about and what they actually mean. So, like I said, great group of guys right there, um, and I'm I'm excited to see them lead the team. So, sounds like a, a good problem to have, especially as many tournaments as you guys wrestle, to have a couple guys that you know at 141 especially could end up seeing each other semifinals, finals of a, a tournament maybe. Yep. Um, and I think, it, I think it happened once or twice last year, actually, but, uh, um, you know, I'm looking for it to happen in a sense that, it, you know, it's a, it's a national qualifier or at the national tournament, you know, and hopefully it's, it's in the placing rounds or, or something like that. But, uh, I mean, regardless, those two push each other and, um, surrounding weights, they push each other as well. And, um, they're helping the younger kids kind of buy in a little bit, so. Talk about the younger kids who are impact freshmen or transfers that uh, are stepping in this year. Um, Griffin Thorne, um, he'd be an 84 pounder from Owatonna, Minnesota, so not too far away. He uh, he's looking good so far in the room, and I know he tells me every day how excited he is to just go out and compete, which which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, but in the same sense, I want to keep his composure while he's out there. You know, I don't want the adrenaline and all that to get the best of him. Um, and then Robert Ronellis, uh, another freshman at 25 from California. Um, I think, you know, once he gets a few things straightened out, he's, he's going to be good to go. He's going to be a big 25 pounder, which is something that we haven't had, you know, in the past. You know, you know they were well underweight. Um, and he's actually having to be disciplined and cut, which, which, you know, helps in the long run. You know, it's kind of one of those things that, that pays off over time. So... How far does this team go? What are the expectations for the team? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's we're we're transitioning into a the heart conference uh, this season. So, I mean, 
those conference duels are big now. Um, you know, we've got top teams in there, you know, like Grandview and Missouri Valley and stuff like that. So having them get excited, more excited for a conference duel um, in terms of, uh, you know, peaking all the time, you know, and just and always being ready, um, especially against those top teams. So, you know, goals would be just, you know, one, you got to have fun. If you're not going to have fun, you're not you're not going to be successful, but you got to have fun, and with that is, you know, you got to you got to embrace the grind, and with that will come success, and you know, dual uh, dual wins, and dual wins will lead on to you know individual stats in a sense, uh, you know, seedings at the national qualifier, mm-hmm. qualifying for the national tournament, you know, placing, winning at the national tournament. So, I mean, I've got. I mean, my ultimate goal is 12 national champs at 10 weights, which which is impossible, but it's it's something that I want. Yeah. Um, and you know, those guys they all have the individual goals. Some of them, you know, right now we're starting up high, and other ones, you know, they're working into it. So the guys that are, you know, their their goals all the way up here, um, they've been through um, a lot of a lot of things before. So you know, they they've already conquered. You know, they're their smaller goals or intermediate goals and stuff like that and and they're looking at the, the big picture. And freshmen, you know, like I said, they're they're starting to come around, so you know, they're they set some some smaller goals and, you know, achieve that and then move on to the next one. You said national champions. Do we have any national champions on this team? I would like to think so. I mean in my head in my head I could see it happening. Um, but then it's also on their end too. You know, they've got to know. Which is something I'm, I'm working on, and Coach Duggar and you know the guys are working on realizing as well. Because um, once you know, once you get up to that level, it's I mean, anything can happen, and it's and there's some some matches you know it could go day by day, but you just got to be ready to go on that day. So we said talked about the women's team. They've got uh, a home meet on the 11th coming up, uh, just this later this uh, month. You guys got to wait, dual match in January. How excited are you to wrestle at home, and how will that go? Um, I don't know if January's a long way off yet, but <laughs> uh, the guys are excited. They were kind of bummed about the the one home duel this year, um, but with, like I said, with getting into the conference thing and kind of a lot of things got switched around, um, that's just the way it ended up this year. Um, it'll it'll improve in the you know in the coming years, so, though. Um, I think it'll be about three or four a season home, which would be nice. So, um, I don't know, January's a long way off, though. But I know the guys are already excited, you know, and have just one home duels. You know, it's a little rough, but uh, more, you know, more reasons for them to go out and get after it. So. I encourage fans, January, come out and uh, check the check the schedules. Come out and support the Warriors that day. Uh, should be in fine form, uh, getting ready with uh, getting into nationals form by that point. So yep. the action should be pretty intense on the mats that day. Yep. I uh, think, uh, yeah, it's about one month, I think, before the, the national qualifiers. So. Uh, anything else to add about the season or uh, how the guys are doing? I'm, I'm just excited to get it underway. You know, I... The work is is in, in a lot of sense, and, um, you know, for the preseason type stuff, and now it's time to to start grinding. So I'm excited. Appreciate it, Coach. Good luck this weekend, and good luck all season. All right, thank you.